In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add this rim lighting effect right here. And here's the before, after. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. And let's go ahead and create a new layer. So I'm going to fill this in with red since the light from the car is red. So I'm going to select this. And let's go ahead and select a red like that. Click OK. Shortcut to fill this in is Alt Backspace. And I'm going down here to the main image, so I'm going to disable this for now. So that's the main image. Enable that. So I'm going to do Control, select his main image. And I'm just going to select the mask. And let's go ahead and do Control i to invert the mask. Let's uh, unlock that. Select the mask. Select V for the selection tool. And I'm going to arrow right one, two, three arrow down one, two, three. So I'm just moving it three pixels to the right and three pixels to the uh, bottom. Now to get the effect on the sleeve and the hands, let's go ahead and zoom in. So we want to work with the mask. So I'm going to select B for brush and I'm at X. So basically hitting X will toggle between the two. And if you hit D, you will set that to default. So we want to make sure this is white. Again, you can select that, make that white. And I'm going to go here to the brush setting, hardness all the way up, and let's change the pixel to six. And you can see um, when we paint that in, it's kind of like that, but that's not what we want to do. I'm going to click undo. So once we have our brush set up, hardness all the way up, pixels at six, hit P for the uh, pen tool, and I'm going to go here, let's start with that, make a point there, point there. Before I let this go, I'm hold Alt, bring this back in like that. So I'm just trying to follow the line of his arm like that. Now we want gonna, we're going to right click, stroke path, tool, make sure you select the brush, and it's going to select the white with the six pixel make sure you have this one checked right here click OK and you can see it painted in the um, the mask right there let's go to path create a new layer now you can see it's um, onto a new layer and we're just going to go here make sure the mask is selected and we do the same thing for the other parts say like right here right so we want to do that have it come down to right there, same thing, right click, stroke path, brush, simulate pressure, click OK, and it's going to do the same thing, go here, create a new layer. So what I did to speed this up, I created um, a shortcut, so right here. So now when I go to, say right here, and let's go down here to Stroke Brush Path, click on Play. Same thing here. And if you want to change the brush size, you select B for Brush. And let's go ahead and bring the size down, maybe 3. Hit P again for the pencil. Go here to my Action, click on Play. And you can see it's a uh, brush size is smaller and if you're on my patreon you could download this uh, action so now let's go ahead and double click this and let's go ahead and go down here to the so make sure blending option is selected go down here to the, uh, the black right there hold alt and it's going to split that so about right there so before if you like like that you can leave it like that but I like to uh, Bring it in kind of like that. All right, now go ahead and lock that. I'm going to select B for brush. Hit X, make sure that's black. Bring the size of the brush up. Hardness all the way down. And maybe bring it up just a little bit. So on parts of the image that doesn't make sense or it doesn't look good, just go ahead and brush that out kind of like that. And 
just a little bit right there. So that's the before, after. So that's a little trick that I like to use to add some rim light using the pen tool and the brush. 